things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave. Permanently. just got worse, Sly. Looks like a couple of pieces of the time drive broke off in that crash landing. I need you to track down the missing components ASAP. Fortunately, the advanced trajectory management processor is still functional, so I was able to calculate their most likely positions. Unfortunately, they seem to have landed in some dangerous terrain. The temporal sprocket appears to have fallen close to some pterodactyl nests. And I'm afraid one of these prehistoric penguins might have gotten its flippers on the gravity encabulator. Oh, they may look cute, but those little devils are nasty. This isn't going to be a simple pickup, Sly. Get some photos of their precise locations, and I'll analyze them to formulate a plan. But watch your back. I don't think we're the first guests at this party. See the structure on that mountain? It appears to be some kind of conveyor belt system. Definitely not Ice Age technology. Get a picture of that machinery, too. I smell a rat, or possibly something even worse. Bentley, uh, have you heard anything from Carmelita? Sorry, Fly. I think maybe she just needs to cool off. For what it's worth, I'm just as worried about Penelope. I know, pal. And we're gonna get her back. I promise. I don't know, Bentley. These little guys don't look so bad to me. Very nice, Sly. Getting a shot of that. 
that pterodactyl took some skill. Yeah. Let's come back when I don't look so appetizing. Conveyor belt does not belong here. The question is, what is it being used for? Fly, I'm picking something up. Look for a building that resembles an arena, and let's take a closer look. My thermal vision is picking up a lot of activity there. Got it, pal. Okay, no way this guy dug that bling up around here. No, you're absolutely right, Sly. He definitely doesn't belong here. This whole place demands an investigation. Let's start by figuring out who we're dealing with here. Good job, Sly. Now head back to the hideout.
Sly, we need to figure out what that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. <laughs> Still no word from Car Carmelita? Don't worry, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. <laughs> I know. I heard when Joe messed up, the boss turned him into a coat for that La Paradox guy. Yeah, that La Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks. Just for fun! Ouch. Yeah, good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Watch yourself, Fly, and don't alert the guard! I hear you, pal. Wow, I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait, holy missing links! Sly, that's a prehistoric raccoon! I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility! Let's help him out! Sly, I have an idea, but you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. Just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. Well, look who's at the party. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That cane man from Doesn't it look almost like a cane? I think you might want to use the paraglider here, Sly. <laughs> This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now! Hold that big fool still! <laughs> Ah, Grizz, you paint so sweet. You got the key. Go grab that tiger skin, Sly. Excellent, Sly. Now get that tiger skin. Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Fly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get him out of there. This is the perfect situation for your Cyclone Pounce. <laughs> see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape, which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox. 
and why it involves stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts. And that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. Okay, Murray. We need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back into climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, sumo slap, duck and cover, super sling, and whack-a-chump. Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises, but they are Murray approved, so let's get started. Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm gonna pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Keep shifting your weight. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed, and not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Oh yeah, swing for the fences! would get irritable. <laughs> to be a true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. 
When you hit enough targets, you win! Make those penguins fly! When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But, like, without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguin. If you can dodge a penguin, you can dodge anything. Figure out where those birds are going, then get out of the way! Good going, Bob! That's how you focus! A real fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split-second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes, along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. Put the smack down on those clowns! Great! Just remember to aim for the real penguins! During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power! Don't let him back you up! Come on, move that big bird! That's using your strength, champ! Bob, you've got what it takes! You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple-decker pizza. You know what you gotta do. Now make the Murray proud.
Ничего. Окей, Мэри, это место. My readings show the temporal sprocket is somewhere in that cliff area. You'll need to climb that rock wall to reach it. But first, it looks like you're gonna have to clear out that crowd of guards. No problem! I'll use the beatdown I'm about to give those chumps for a warm-up. Then I'll get your doohickey back! Murray, I realize you volunteered for this one, but are you sure you're ready for that climb? Come on, Bentley! The Murray was born ready! what it feels like. Uh... Okay, Bob. I know Murray got you ready. Now it's time to get you climbing again. Press the circle button to start climbing. You'll have to navigate around obstacles or break through them. Press the square button to pound the wall. That should break through any obstacle you run into. Watch out for ice beetles! Wow! 
Look out for ice beetles! These things give a whole new meaning to the word frostbite. Watch out for those pterodactyl legs. You don't want to wind up with egg on your face. Sorry, just some futuristic humor. Just penguins, Bentley. 
Oh, sure, that's what you say now. But you just wait. It looks like they've torn my gravity and calculator apart. You're gonna have to track down each piece to reassemble it. I don't see what you're complaining about. I'm the one who's just a penguin herder now. Furry, are you still upset about the climbing thing? Come on, it just worked out better that way. Everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, myself included. And trust me, we can't do anything without your might. That's why we're a team. I guess. Well, it looks like I've got some birds to round up. Here, little penguins. I promise I won't squeeze That's it, you Murray. too hard. Don't let him get away. Okay, little guy. <laughs> Excellent expectoration, Murray. I hope it doesn't smell too fishy. Hey, Bentley? Where's Carmelita? I kind of miss her. No, so, she's around. You know how independent she is. <laughs> she's ticked at Sly again, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she is. muscle on this team, not some guy we just met.
Systems, check. Start ammo, check. Tire pressure, check. Bentley, how many equipment checks are you going to do? Just being prepared, Sly. A field operative can never be too careful. Or watch too many spy movies, apparently. They're good reference. Those ice caves are a textbook example of a villain's hidden operation. Relax, pal. It's simple. Use the thermovision to find Grizz, tag him with the homing dart, and let him lead us to his lair. Avoiding any lethal obstacles or bloodthirsty guards along the way, of course. Right. Simple. I'll see you back at the hideout. Hmm, a dead end? I think not. Time to use the thermovision. Vision should detect his footprints. Oh yeah! They say I'm like Da Vinci, master with a brush. When my art is on the wall, it makes the crowd hush. There he is. Tag him, Bentley. Hold on, Sly. There's something funny about that painting. What happened, Bentley? He was right there. I'm sorry, Sly. It's just this artwork. Man, this mural really should be buried in the trash. Great! Way to go, pal. Outstanding. Now, go find that bear. Yeah. Mm, this must be how Grizz moves the eggs back to the top base. Uh, whoa, that's a huge egg. Doug, I always hated eggs. Uh, I need to get out of the way. Yeah. I use those gaps in the walls to avoid the eggs. This is like some kind of bad dream! Alright, peep this. We are on high alert. Nobody goes in or out but the Grizz. I gotta go finish your painting, you dig? Good. Now take these and keep your eyes open. Looks like that door is missing something. Yeah, a makeover. No, Sly. I'm sure the gems Grizz gave the guards unlocked the door. I'll just have to get them the old-fashioned way. By asking politely? Funny. No, by picking some pockets. I can't tell which guards have them, though. Hmm. Maybe there's another way. How about using thermovision? I think you're right. Wow, this is a first. Okay, now who's being... I better use the thermo vision to see which guards have the gems. Can't let these guys see me, but I am history.
on that door. You won't shake this tail, Grizz. Uh, did you just say something about shaking your tail? Fly and sly, I've got a bear to catch. No way I'm going out as egg salad. I'll never eat an omelet again. Don't forget, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Ugh, I'd much rather sleep in late. Bentley, what do you think we just skip breakfast tomorrow? My thoughts, eggs act late. on ice. Gonna dig it up later for a big fat price. The Paradox is a stinky dude, and I'm getting real sick of his attitude. It looks like Grizz is planting fake cave paintings. He's working a prehistoric art scam. I get it. He paints them here, then goes back to the present. Digs them up and sells them for a fortune. What a con. Hurry up and tag him before he gets away again. Right. Just to be safe, I'm going to use multiple darts. Three should do the trick. Belly, you need to make sure those darts stick to it. Aim for that rip in his pants. Time to put the dart gun to this. Great shot, Belly. I can't shoot through all this ice. You need to move. I think this job is going to require three darts just to be on the safe side. Bullseye! Just one more. Stupid machine! Just keep moving, Bentley. You don't have much time. Very nice. Yeah, I shot the guy thrice. Sorry. The rhyming is contagious. One of these days, he's gonna get served. Yeah, the Grizz is gonna crush that little nerd. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. It ain't your biz. My name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way or I'm gonna get rough. Work. I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my... What? Fool, you trying to 
run some kind of game on the grill? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Ho hold up, hold up, I'm losing signal. Hold up, I said I'm losing signal. I said, I hold on. I can't, hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. You got the quiz? Live a lot with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, cause you'll just get crushed. Don't need no canvas, I just paint on the wall. Nobody give me static, cause I'm better than y'all. You there? Good. Now listen up. The eggs are running out here, but I need to keep my paint production going, so I need you to find me the resources. What? Well, I don't know. You know, like, uh, chickens, turkeys, ostriches, parrot, frog. How would I know? Just make it happen, man. What? Oh, uh, man, hold on. I, I gotta find some reception. I gotta find some. Hold on. Man. Nah, hold on. Billy, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. Forget I asked. What's that? Oh, come on now. I scratched your stinky, stripy little back, now you scratch mine. <laughs> Not only that, I got those other crazy Cooper folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Huh? Oh, oh hold on. It's, it's a reception, man. I can't hear you. No. You can hear me, I can't hear you. You chopping. You chopping. You chopping. I forget it, man. I, I... Sounds like his deal with my paradox isn't going so well. Oh, poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. Shrimp is that he stinks. <laughs> so I'm rolling, I'm flowing. So bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach La Paradox. Don't mess with a bear. <laughs>
Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player? Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Damn! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been telling Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in Le Paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars!
All right, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg vats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something, sitting in that other car. Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. This is my stop. I need to destroy those egg vats and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. <laughs> If I open those piston valve covers, they should function as lifts. You might as well quit right now!
You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll find you guys after I figure out how to get off this crazy thing. Why? We've got another problem. Okay. We needed Murray to cover that control panel, but he's gone. If that guard resets the system, not only will this mission be a failure, but we'll be sitting ducks. Sloppy, though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. 
Way to hustle, Sly! Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. Man! I knew I should have made that left turn! Haha, <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Like sugar and spice. When I put that Koopa gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away! Bombs away! <laughs> the Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him. Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chumps. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate time. Oh man, this won't take. Oh man, this won't take but a minute. Here comes the Grizz. No way you catching the G train. No way you 
couldn't copy the grid. Oh, yeah! Time for the Murray to take over! I'm gonna smack the pink right off! Murray. You were great! That performance was definitely a 10, pal. Murray. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. <laughs> I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England, and as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So, although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. 